Hello, my name is CJ and I'm a professional dog trainer on staff with Web Deals Direct on Amazon.com. I'm here to ensure that you get the most out of your pet tech training dog collar. Please feel free to contact me via the contact form on our website or you can send me an email at cj at pettechproducts.us. I'd be happy to help you with any training issues that you have. If you have just received your pet tech training collar model number PT0X1, you should have received a remote transmitter, a remote receiver, a power adapter, a USB cable, two small contact points, two large contact points, both with removable resin covers, a fabric collar, a TPU collar, and a test light. You may choose to use either collar you wish, but for smaller dogs, the fabric collar is typically preferred. This unit is designed to have contact points attached at all times, and resin covers should be on all times as well. This is for the safety and comfort of your dog. This device comes with a lifetime replacement guarantee. If you are having any issues, please contact us via our website and we will send you a free replacement. The features of your remote control include a charging port. The LED indicator will light up red when charging and will turn off when fully charged. A low battery indicator will appear on the LCD screen when the battery level is critical. The charging cable has two plugs. The thinner plug is for charging the remote and the wider plug is to charge the receiver. Carefully insert the thin plug into the charging port and connect the USB cable to the power adapter and plug it into the wall. A full charge typically takes two hours. Charge both units before your first use and recharge often. If the battery runs down all the way, the units will have to be paired again. The bright LED flashlight will light up when the LED light button is pressed. The LED indicator lights up when a signal is being sent to the receiver and also when the remote is charging. The intensity level buttons increase or decrease the intensity levels of the vibration and shock mode. The default level is 000. Ensure the level is set to at least 001 before testing the vibration and shock modes. The channel select button switches between channel 1 and channel 2 to train two dogs simultaneously. An additional receiver is required. The action or Y button sends the signal from the transmitter to the receiver, resulting in shock, vibrate, beep, or light depending on your mode selection. The mode selection button switches between static shock, vibration, beep, and light. To turn the receiver on, press the power button once. The receiver will beep and the LED status light will flash. Press again to turn off. It will not beep, but the LED status light will stop flashing. This light will flash every two seconds when the receiver is on. When charging, it will show a solid red light. It will change to green when fully charged. Unplug the seal to reveal the charging port. To protect the unit from water damage, ensure the plug is properly in place when charging is completed. The charging cable has two plugs attached to it. The thinner plug is to charge the remote, and the wider plug is to charge the receiver. Insert the wider plug into the charging port, connect the USB cable to the power adapter, and plug it into the wall to charge. A full charge typically takes two hours. Charge both units before your first use, and recharge often. If the battery runs down all the way, the units will have to be paired again. Confirm both devices are on. The receiver light should be flashing green every two seconds, and the LCD screen should be illuminated on the remote. Press firmly and hold down the power sync button on the receiver. After pressing the button for approximately five seconds, the receiver will beep again, and the green light will start flashing rapidly. You can now let go of the power sync button. The green light will continue flashing rapidly and is now ready to pair with the remote. If the green light is not flashing rapidly, then repeat step two. Step three, press the action button on the remote. The receiver will beep and the devices are now paired. To pair one remote to two callers, switch to channel two and repeat the process with the second receiver. This unit has four modes. The first mode is the light mode, and it only has one intensity level at 000. This mode is best used to ensure that your unit is on, paired, working correctly, and is on the correct channel. The second mode is the audio mode. It only has one intensity level, 000. 
You have a choice as far as how you would like your dog to interpret the audio tone. You could use it as a positive marker by pairing it with treats. Simply press the Y button and then give your dog a treat. Repeat a few times until your dog understands beep equals treat. Now you can use the audio function as a positive reinforcement, just like a clicker or a whistle. Do not use the audio function for any other purpose. The audio function will simply tell your dog that they have done the correct thing. Alternatively, if you do not want to use the audio function as a positive reinforcer, you can use it as a deterrent of unwanted behavior by simply getting your dog's attention away from what it wasn't supposed to be doing. Alternatively, you could pair it with a come command and use it as a recall. The third mode is the vibration mode. It has intensity levels from 001 to 100. It defaults at 000. You will have to move it up to 001 in order for it to function. The vibration mode can be used as a negative marker to tell your dog, no, I don't want you to do that. <coughs> Pressing the Y button will momentarily distract your dog from the undesired behavior that it was just exhibiting. If your dog returns to the undesired behavior, press the Y button again. If the dog stops doing the behavior and you have paired the audio mode to a positive marker, switch to the audio mode to tell the dog, yes, I wanted you to stop doing that. If the dog does not stop the behavior, you may have to use the vibration again or increase the intensity level. Remember to press the Y button as soon as possible after the behavior occurs. If the behavior has already stopped, it is too late to correct it. You will have to wait until the dog exhibits the behavior again. You have to catch them in the act. The fourth mode is the static shock mode and has intensity levels from 001 to 100. This mode defaults at 000. You will have to move it up to 001 in order for it to function. An electrical shock is not for training purposes and can do irreparable harm to the relationship between you and your dog. This function is only used to prevent your dog from harming himself or herself or someone else. For instance, your dog could start running into a busy street, attack another dog, or even a person or child. It is only in these extreme situations that you want to consider using the shock mode. To test if the shock mode is working, use the test light provided. On your receiver, remove the contact points and resin covers. Hold the test light right up to the posts, and we're gonna set the shock level at 001. Press the Y button, and you should see the light light up. If you increase the intensity, I'm gonna put it up to 100, you'll see that the light gets brighter. I'm going to use the shorter set of contact points because Leilani does not have very long hair. You wanna place the receiver on the side of your dog's neck never on the throat. On the side of the neck is where the muscle is. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this. And you can cut off this extra strap if you want. I'm gonna test by putting two fingers through. I can get two fingers through. I can get more than two fingers through, so it needs to be tightened. You don't want this to slide around. I can still get two fingers through but not anymore. Now you can use your fingers to kind of comb the hair out of the way so that the extenders are actually touching the dog's skin. High five. Good girl. Let me kiss. Oh, good girl. As trainers, we understand that proximity to our subjects is vital as we need to be able to either reinforce or correct a behavior the instant that it happens. Now this training collar extends our reach as trainers. We can be inside the house, and when our dogs are outside, the instant they start barking, chewing on the fence, or digging up our prize azaleas, you can correct them with the touch of a button. Now you can also praise them when they stop doing the nuisance behavior and start doing something else. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been informative for you. If you have any other questions, you may email me at cj at Happy training.